Will Finucane be going to that event? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me tell you why, Stephen. I think we need to be very carefully, careful with what you're doing tonight through this programme. Sensitive issues will always be with regard to commemorations and what happened in our troubled past. People were killed and died on all sides. But what you've done tonight is essentially suggest that if people are attending commemorations, then what we should do is uh, throw up all incidents in the past where people were killed by the organisations responsible. There are victims responsible. Asking John there not are. to go. Well, then, then let's, let's be consistent here. The logic of what you're doing tonight is to say there should be no more British Remembrance Day commemorations in the north of Ireland. The litany of murder, mayhem and destruction caused in Ireland and elsewhere by the British Army and their forces. We could go on forever talking about it. The DUP representatives on here, we could talk about the UDR how the DUP and other unionist parties have used ratepayers' money on councils to pay for you to our memorials. And let me, let me take it a little bit further. The Alliance so Party leader... Let me, let me point this. ...between the UDR uh, and the IRA. I'm drawing an equivalence in a divided society like ours between organisations where people were killed who were involved in murder. Um, and, and I was making a point there. The leader of the Alliance Party... Her husband, who's also a Lions representative, only days ago tweeted that he was at an RUC commemoration. Now, Stephen, in the first four weeks of the Troubles the RC, the in the 1960s... A, 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 a lawful force which Sinn Féin and others would hold accountable to the law. The RUC, uh, a lawful force. Well, a, a, then, a, a, you, a force then you need to educate yourself a, as to a, how a, nationals have viewed the RUC since the inception of the state. Some nationals. The very first four weeks... Some nationals. Okay. The very first four weeks of the Troubles in 1969, the RUC murdered six Catholics. Six different incidents, they murdered six Catholics. What was that about? Because they knew what their role was. It was to keep Catholics in the north of Ireland in their box. Keep them in their place when the civil do? rights campaign These was These events where people are being commemorated and so-called soldiers, and well, that's a loaded term, isn't it? Soldiers well, are, being, are being commemorated. What does it do for the victims? Well, let like, me say what, this. What pain well, look, must it inflict in those victims? And this is why I'm saying this whole conversation needs to be very, very careful. There are commemorations, and I believe, because I don't know much about this commemoration, but I heard Conor Murphy on television saying this is the 13th year of it. Why are we talking about it now? Other political parties are throwing this up to make an issue of it. The truth is this. There are Republican... and representative groups of victims are not throwing okay. it up. So does that They're mean... saying it causes okay. them... Pain okay. And Does that mean next November that it's legitimate for people in Derry to say it's only 200 yards as a crow flies from the British Army Memorial in the centre of the walls of Derry to the bog side where the British Army mowed down 14 people? Is it acceptable people say there should be no more British commemorations in Derry? Because I don't believe that. I don't believe Northern Ireland should act like that. I think people want a better society where they say, listen, we can accept dignified remembrance. We can accept people being involved in that. We don't agree. We don't agree. Well, but we can accept that RUC, UDR, loyalists, British Army can be commemorated. And so can... And it doesn't matter what the victims think or it's, feel. No, it's, it's a matter... No, well, the victims are very important. This? Then people need to have the right to say, look, there needs to be a dignified form of remembrance. But I don't think it's acceptable to say those commemorations should not take place. Meanwhile, all of these other organisations that were involved in the conflict, did, did you we see can carry on regardless. Did you see what we played at the top of the show? Of course. The atrocities carried out yes. by these so-called soldiers. And, what I, and, and terrible looking at victims, looking at the families of victims, picking up the pieces. But what I've just said to you before now, Stephen, was does that mean next November you should be showing on your show families of Valley Murphy, families of the Glenann gang victims, families of the six Catholics murdered by the RUC in the summer of 1969. Should you be showing that before Remembrance Day? Talk when people put poppies on, should you be doing that?